Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 268, missing number. So given an array nums containing n distinct numbers in the range 0 to n, return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. So here we have a nums array, 3, 0, 1. We have a range of 0 to n, so 0 to 3, and we want to return the missing number. And we can easily see that the missing number is 2. So a straightforward solution would be to convert this into a set. So we'll have a set. We add 3, 0, and 1 to the set. So we loop through the range from 0 to n. Remember, range is 0, 2, 3. We loop through this range, and we check at each index whether this is within set. And remember, set has a property called has. And we can check whether it has 0, 1, 2. And if it doesn't have that value, then we are just going to return that index. Time complexity for this will be on, and space complexity will also be on because we're utilizing a set data structure in this. However, a follow-up for this is, can you implement a solution using only O1 extra space complexity and ON runtime complexity? Now let's dive into that. So for this solution, we are going to be using bit manipulation, and more specifically, we are going to be using the bitwise operator XOR. So let's briefly discuss what XOR does. So if we have two bits, so let's say we have zero and one, and we XOR those, right? And we use the caret symbol to represent XOR. If these values are different, then it's going to return us one bit. If they're the same, it's going to return us zero. So what XOR does is it just looks for a difference in bits. So it sets bit to one if only one of the two bits is one. So why is this useful in this question? Well, let's look at it, right? We have the numbers zero, one, two, and three for our range. If the values are the same with XOR, so we have three XOR three, this is going to return us zero, right? Because binary representation of three is equal to one, one. So if we have one, one, XOR, one, one, this is going to give us zero, zero. Remember, because XOR is always looking for a difference within the bits. So this is going to return us zero. So the values in here, the same values cancel out when using XOR. So three is going to cancel out with three. Zero is going to cancel out with zero. One is going to cancel out with one. And then we're just going to be left with two, which is the answer we're looking for. So how are we going to solve this programmatically? How are we going to implement this within the code base? Well, we have the indices of these numbers, right? And the indices themselves are missing one of the values from the range. So the range, remember, is zero to n. So in this case, it's zero to three. So what we can do to begin with is set a variable. Let's call it XOR. And we can initially set this to the value of the range that we're missing, which is going to be three, because we know for a fact that there's always going to be one integer missing. So let's set that to three. So now we loop through the nums array. We XOR this value with the index and with this number. Let's go ahead and do that. So three XOR zero XOR three. 3 XOR 0, so the XOR of 3 is 1, 1. 0 is just going to be 0, 0. This is going to return us 1, 1 because there are two differences here. So this cancels out, right? So we remove the 0. Now 3 XOR 3, let's have a look. Well, 1, 1, 1, 1, as we said before, is just going to return us 0. So this is going to return us 0. We can update XOR to 0. Now we've looked at these. So we move along. We compare this value, XOR to this value, and this value. So 0, XOR 1, XOR 0. Now it doesn't matter what order you carry this out in. We could XOR 0 and 0 together, which are going to cancel out. And then we're just going to be left with 1. So we can update XOR. Now we've seen these. We move along. 1, XOR 2, XOR 1. So again, these cancel out. And we're left with 2. So we update XOR. We've seen these. And we exit this loop. And we just return XOR. And then time complexity for this one is going to be O of N. Because we're looping through the nums array and space complexity is going to be O of 1. Let's declare XOR. This is going to be equal to nums.length. So for the first example, this will be equal to 3. Then we loop through the nums array. And we update XOR to XOR, the caret symbol for the XOR operator. We're going to be comparing that with i, and then we're going to compare that with the nums at i. And this will return us the value that we're missing. Let's give this a run. And there you go. 